Hey everybody, so I'm going to do just a really quick video today. Um, this is what I've been working on um, for the past week or so. Um, so basically, um, I have done a cloud um, before. This is kind of an update to that, which has a bunch more stuff. So this is based on some of the MQTT lights that I've done quite a bit of. Uh, for my apartment. Uh, the goal with this one though is to kind of update some of the code. Um, so the the example code that I've been using, um, kind of the template um, that I've been using for those lights is about two years old. So there's a few things that I figured out how to do and some of the libraries have advanced a little bit more. Um, so I've updated some of that stuff. Uh, and then, of course, it's getting integrated with Home Assistant so that I can go and you can see this is the serial monitor over here. So this is the information that's getting sent um, uh, that the, the cloud is receiving from my Home Assistant server uh, via MQTT. Um, and I can change colors. And that's cool. So this is what the cloud actually looks like. Um, <clears throat> I'm still working on it. Um, so this is one of the prototypes that I have. I put a little bit of the, the batting on it so I could see more what it looks like in cloud shape um, and what some of those animations look like. So I've been working on some of the animations um, for this. And of course, uh, this uses fast LED uh, library. And there's already a bunch of different things in here. Let's find one that's kind of kind of cool. So candy cane. So it's just gonna do red and white stripes on it. Um, let's see, of course like the uh, BPM is really fun. Um, so I've shown off some of these animations, but the new thing, the super new thing that I'm adding to it is sound effects. So they've always had this lightning here. Watch what happens when I select lightning. So that's the new part of this um, this cloud. Uh, it's something I haven't been able to really get easily integrated into it, but being able to use the sound effects um, inside the cloud. So it is actually timed so when the flash goes off, it picks a random thunder sound um, and then plays that. Um, it does wait until the end of the song, uh, the end of the sound file. Um, before it does another one. So that's kind of how it, it's not exactly randomized. The flashing, um, the number of LEDs that flash and the position of those LEDs is randomized. And which one of the five sound files it picks for doing thunder is randomized. Um, but it really just plays one right on back uh, of each other. What I really like about this is that you do see the flash first and then you hear the thunder. Um, so it is very realistic. Uh, in the past, I, I had it limited to five um, thunder, uh, randomized uh, thunder sounds because it was very, um, I didn't have a lot of memory on the sound uh, card that I was using for previous versions. But um, this actually just uses an SD card to hold the sounds. So I can add many more um, of the thunder sounds. Um, I did also add the one that everyone loved when I originally worked on this in the makerspace, um, which is the bird chirps. So the bird chirps, and then this is what will be kind of the clear skies, sunny routine. Um, I did modify the, uh, I really like the noise um, generating algorithm for this project, um, but I needed to have something that would 
just behave similarly to, similarly to that, um, but not have every color like the noise does by default. I wanted to limit the color palette so I could have something like a blue sky with clouds, white clouds that kind of roll over it um, and get that kind of like a little bit of a, a textured effect. It's hard to see it on the video here, but um, it definitely is uh, flowing uh, with a certain amount of texture between like a sky blue and white. Um, so I'll be doing some, uh, some other similar ones um, than that. Uh, I've still got the, the rain and snow routine um, that I'm going to be doing, but um, that's pretty much what I got, and it's working pretty well um, so far. So yeah, I'm going to switch it back to lightning. So that was the big one that I've had a little bit of trouble getting going um, has been the um, getting the lighting and the sound effects going at the same time without either one uh, getting in the way of the other. But I think I got that process down. Um, everything's pretty much working at this point. Um, the only additional thing I need to do is just finalize the routines, um, probably create a new feed that will accept weather data. Um, what's really interesting about this is so I'm using the, um, uh, the music player shield in here, the VS1053. Uh, and um, what I like about it is somewhere down in here, I think it's under setup. Um, under setup, it has a place for setting the volume via code. So I'm going to try this out and see if I can set a um, uh, set up a feed um, specifically to control the volume on this. Um, now the speakers do have a volume knob up on top of them, but I think it'd be really interesting if within the app you can control the volume as well. So we'll see how that works. Um, but yep, that's all I got.